Tortle, my Squirtle, holy, thank you so much for another five gift of subs. I think you also dropped the bomb yesterday. <laughs> Meiosis, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Hello, hello. How has your day been so f It's so hot today. It's pretty hot. So I'm not wearing this sweater, but... Slop, slop, slop. <laughs> Soran, thank you so much for the four months in a row. Can you guys see my tan? You guys know how I went on vacation last weekend? Look at this tan I got. I have a literal Mr. Sleeves tan. Oh man, there's a ton of resubs today too. Wild Buffalo, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. Synergy, thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. Muffins, thank you so much for the 3 months in a row. Ein Rip, thank you so much for the 2 Ein, did I meet you at uh, TwitchCon? E-I-E-N, that sounds familiar. Are you the guy I met at TwitchCon? Uh, Endeavor, thank you so much for the two months in a row. Oh, that is you. Okay. Nice to meet you. I know who you are now. Uh, H Experts, thank you so much for the three months in a row. Chroma Puss, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Sambamon, thank you so much for the five months. Nastro, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Ika, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Professional streamer. No, I'm still pretty scuffed. I haven't even streamed for a year. I'm pretty, pretty young in streamer age. I have a long ways to go. Uh. Phantasm, thank you so much for the 20 bits. Prof McDouble, thank you so much for the five months in a row. What is the keyboard on your desk? Uh, you can always do exclamation keyboard to see what keyboard I am currently using. How's my favorite streamer doing today? I'm doing pretty well, pretty well. Got a, got a lot of sleep in last night. It's just hot. It's the only problem. Yeah, we got we have a long stream today. We have we have tons of stuff to unbox. Uh, who else did I miss? Prof McDougal, five months. Thank you so much. Jane Glad, thank you so much for the two months in a row. Uh, Pub Goku, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Serenities, thank you so much for the two months. Thanks for raiding Luke last night. I'm kind of interested in seeing what you do. Hello, Green Frog. Are you Luke's friend? <laughs> Sorry if I don't know you, Green Frog. Nathan, we're going to be talking about build in the next week or two. What build? What build are you talking about? A build for you? Ooh, that's pretty pog. It's time, dang. Has has Tyler been racking up that Twitch monies to finally commission me? <clears throat> uh, what else? So that I missed. Jisoo, long time no see. Thank you so much for the five months in a row. WGM PC, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Please consider GMK Handobi Plus. Uh, Lock Cody, thank you so much for the two months in a row. And Krelbit, thank you so much for the 400 bits. Jisoo, I saw your uh, I saw your latest uh, post. That was very cute. Were you Were you debated Daisy? Da Crap, was her name Daisy? Oh, I forgot her name. Is it Date? 
Jisoo and Crab is here. Is her name Date? I forgot. Sorry, it's been so long. <laughs> What's her name? Dorothy! I knew it started with a D and ended with a Y. I knew that. Dorothy, there you go. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the 15 bits anonymous cheer. GJ Fua, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. And Mr. Petrov, thank you so much for the three months. You are now a Cherry MX Red. With a tier two, whoa. Two more minutes to let people roll in and then we're gonna start the stream with a ton of unboxings because I have I have accumulated quite a bit of stuff to show off during the two weeks I was out. Do you have the home sweet home desk mat I might buy? It is available on dixiemechcom slash types. That is where you buy it. Does anyone know if Teha watched Naruto? I did watch it. My dad's favorite switch is Kale Box Pale Blue and I'm trying to find a board with those switches any Rex on where to find it. There are no There are no boards that come with Kale Box Pale Blues as far as I know. You have to build it yourself. Whoa, small! Thank you so much for the $20 tip. Oh, man. <laughs> Kelly is back in the... No, I have a I have an Elgato now. I can I can mute the alert easily. Uh, yeah, Smoth, holy, thank you so much for the $20 tip. Really appreciate it. I love you, Smoth. Looking forward to more cosplays. Kelly, thank you so much for the 200 bits. And ADB7, thank you so much for the 11 bits. Xkibu, thank you so much for the tier one sub uh, for three months. Oh, who, by the way, who joined in on the raffle this morning for Key Cult? Anyone join in? Anyone miss it and they're planning on entering for the one at 10 o'clock? Neo Visual did. Couldn't wake up on time. I got you, my friend. I don't get why you guys stayed up. There's a second round happening that you can enter if you missed the first one. You didn't have to wake up in time <laughs> for the early morning one. It was at. Uh, it's EST, so it's gonna. There was one at 10 a.m. EST. There's going to be another one at 10 a.m. Uh, 10 p.m. EST t today. Only join once. You only need to join once. Uh, if you enter both, you're gonna get disqualified. So yeah, just enter one of them. Are holy pandas okay? Unloot. They are. Mm, I wouldn't really. I personally don't like unloot switches. <sighs> All right, it's 3:41. Let's start. to start with I have so many things Chani Pa hello 18k followers pop did we break 18k really <gasps> we did break 18k followers wow thank you guys Thank you, thank you. Kelly, thank you so much for another 300 bits. Dang, do I have to do another subathon at 20? 20 or 25? 20? 25? 20? 20? <laughs> oh, crap. 20, dang. Okay, that's, it's gonna take a while. Uh, Ponzerness, thank you so much for the three months in a row. Alright, so 
this? This is the first thing we are unboxing today. It is not keyboard related. But... Um, I don't know if you guys saw my Keycon vlog. It's pretty bad. Don't watch it if you haven't. Um, it's not a good vlog, but... Uh, in that video, I wear... I wore my Alpha joggings. So there's a company, clothing company called Alpha Clothing. Um, yeah, I've been wearing their stuff for like the past five years. Um, yeah, so I wore their vlog, I wore their joggers in that vlog. And then the director of that, of this company, Alpha Clothing, uh, recognized it. And he messaged me and he was like, yo, we'll just send you out some more stuff. Thank you so much for uh, supporting us. It's not, this is not sponsored, guys. They're not, they're not sponsoring me. Uh, the director just happened to watch my vlog and he sent this out to me. So I thought it'd be cool to at least unbox it on stream for them. Ta -da! Yeah, so they are primarily... They're primarily a... Uh, well, like gym clothing, workout clothing, uh, athletic clothing. Yeah, their focus, they mostly sell like athletic uh, apparel. But they sent me so much stuff, holy moly. So this is t-shirt number one. I don't even gym, guys. I don't have time to gym right now. <laughs> but I feel... I, I feel like I have to gym now wearing these clothes because they sent me so much. Yeah, athletic fit. Um, it's got that like, it's got that nice uh, athletic clothing material feel. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Teha is now officially alpha. Yeah, I, I I ain't no beta male. I'm a I'm an alpha male. But yeah, they sent me one. They sent me the other gray one. And once again, not sponsored, guys. They just sent me because um, they enjoyed the vlog for some odd reason. But yeah, I, I highly recommend. Their stuff isn't too pricey, I would say. Um, and I, I do think you get what you pay for with their stuff. Like I said, I, I, ha I have been wearing their uh, clothing for like the past five years. So um, it's like it's decently priced and I, yeah, not bad at all. And they saved me, I don't know if this is a bro tank, but I'm not really much of a tank person. I don't know if this is a tank, maybe this, this is a pretty low cut. I'm not a, I'm not a low cut kind of person. Yeah, there's another color here. Kelly, thank you so much for the 200 bits. Uh, hi, Defin, thank you so much for the $1, $0.01. Can you recommend a few Holy Panda alternatives? I'm new to the keyboard scene and Holy Panda seem hard to get. The only alternative I know are Zelios V2. Any suggestions? Uh, Zelios V2. Holy Pandas are not hard to get. You can purchase Halo True switches from Mass Drop. Sorry, Drop. And uh, Yawk Panda switches from Novel Keys and you can make them yourself. And JDW, thank you so much for the 10 bits. And WGM PC, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Look at all this stuff. I'm still not done. So there's another t shirt. Look at this packaging. It's got like a smoky, smoky thing. It's nice. It's nice. Another t-shirt. Maybe maybe I'll give some of these away on Twitter or something. <laughs> I'll ship it out myself for you guys. I don't know if you guys... Are there any gym junkies in my chat? Do you guys even lift? Look at this. Look at how many they sent. This is like a nice... Uh, ooh, this, has, this has a nice like gray color. Maybe I shouldn't open it. 
Oof, another very low cut. Not for me, I'll probably <laughs> give away the low cut ones. Yeah, if you guys like low cut stuff, maybe you guys can follow me on Twitter. I'll tweet when I give these some of these away. Oh, but this is what I like. I like their joggers. Let's open the joggers. So do you guys remember when are like the Adidas? Are the Adidas like Tiro sweatpants? Are they still a thing? It was like a huge phase where everyone was wearing that growing up. And I would say these alpha joggers, they're like that, but like they're like an upgrade. Like they look nicer, they uh they feel better. Ooh. Look at this. Yo, this one's nice. So it's can you even see? What's ribbed? at the, the leg opening so it's gonna have a tight fit uh, it opens ankles if you're about that loose life oh yo this looks tactical it's got a pocket here where you can probably put like your wallet or phone while you gym Pretty solid uh, drawstrings. Well, the pockets don't have zippers though. That's a shame. It's not the end of the world though. Ooh, this looks nice. I like. Yeah, I'm. I'm personally a fan of their joggers. That's the majority of the stuff I've bought from them. So this is jogger number one. Would would recommend their joggers. Oh, they sent me a hoodie too. I can start wearing their hoodies on stream. It's not multicolored though. That's okay. Mm, and they sent me the same jogger but in the gray color. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, so once again, not sponsored. They just, uh, just the director of Alpha Clothing happened to watch me. Sent this out. So if you guys want to go check them out, tell them you came from my stream. Would recommend. Pub Goku, thank you for the $2 tip. <clears throat> Should I switch out the springs for better ones? Uh, I don't think you have to switch out the springs, just lube it. If, as long as you lube springs, I think they're fine. Uh, the stock Panda or Halo springs are perfectly fine springs. You just need to lube it. Arxit, thank you so much for the three months in a row. Chive, thank you so much for the two months in a row. Yep, Shenster, do you wear Uniqlo? I do wear Uniqlo. Uh, Luke from LTT was flipping out last night after you hosted him. Oh yeah, I saw, I was there. I stayed around for a little bit. Yeah, he, uh, he followed me on Twitter and Twitch. May maybe, just kidding, I don't know. Maybe an LTTXTT collab? Is it the collab of the TTs? The TTs? Uh, Zeno Kinetic, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. <sighs> uh, Stratismo, thank you so much for the five months in a row. Yeah, and Alpha, at least they're joggers. They have a pretty clean branding, so I'm okay with it. It's not super offensive. It's, it's not offensive at all, in my opinion. Uh, Arxit, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Butcher my name every time. How do I say your name, Arxit? R Arzit? Uh, Pins Brian, thank you so much for the two months in a row. Uh, 
How do I say your name, Arxit? Or is it? R. R. Why isn't he chatting? Why won't he tell me how to pronounce his name? I'm on a mission to find out what it is they add at the cream. Uh, their cream, as far as I know, is just whipping cream. Alright. Item number two to unbox. Do you guys know what this is? Have you guys heard about this? Uh, Zaf Suchi Duo Mate. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Just say Zaf. Okay. WGM PC, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Where did that sweet Elecom go? Do I still use it? Uh, I decided to switch to a regular mouse for home. It's just easier for me to edit with. Yeah. All right. So let me let me bring up the link for this. So there was an interest check for this on Mech Market. Not too long ago. And it was, it went pretty under the radar. So custom laptop stand and keyboard tray. So this person has been prototyping something of this nature so i don't i don't think anyone covered this really it, it was pretty low key um, i used to use my mechanical keyboard with my laptop due to long hours of typing in school but i always felt that the ergonomics of using a laptop and keyboard to be unpleasant so this person went about and tried to make their own solution <clears throat> uh, cutting some metal Cutting some aluminum, I believe. And uh, Top Clack did, oh, okay. I did not watch this week's Top Clack. But yeah, they uh, they reached out to me and they said, are you interested, would you be interested in brutally, honestly reviewing their uh, production unit? So this is a production, This sorry, this is not product. This is a prototype, this is their prototype. Uh, they have told me they're already working on a lot of uh, redesigns and reworks. Um, some people have already purchased these, the prototype. I think 10 were made. So yeah, they already received feedback from their first batch of uh, customers. And they are planning on making it happen if it's popular, I suppose. Uh, so the company is Kibi. K-E-E-B-I. Oh, what the heck? I did not know this was a part of their design. Okay. So packaging. Uh, nothing too crazy so far. Okay, let's open this green Pikachu face. Oh, it's taped. They said they'd be in chat. I don't know if they've chatted. Oh! Whoa! Look at this chunk of a unit. Um, the packaging, I wish it was wrapped. Hopefully when they send it out to other customers, it's wrapped because it's scuffed around the edges. <laughs> I'm assuming, yeah, it's a little scuffed, but there was no like foam or anything. Probably just the rolled around in the box. But, uh, what the heck? Is this dust or like oil? What the heck is this? There's something. I mean, it comes off, but I don't know what it is. I don't think it's oil. It's probably like some kind of like powder dust. So it looks like it is made out of aluminum. So 
this is what the design is. Let's let's go around what it looks like. So I think the idea is you slot your laptop into here and then you put your keyboard on this top edge so you can type. Oh, this this might be oil. It's it's slime anti-rust lubricant. Yeah, this should be cleaned off before being sent out. <laughs> Cause uh, it's starting to get on my fingers. Um, and it does have bump on, so that's nice to see. Bump ons. Yo, this this oil is everywhere. <laughs> Um, the bump ons are pretty thick though. That's pretty thick. So that's good to see. That's good to see. So I think the idea for this. Let's do some live world testing. The idea is for all you laptop users who use keyboards with your laptops. So this goes inside here like this. And then you would have your keyboard on this. So now you can go like this. And then your So this is the uh, solution. So my my biggest question is, what, Young Tilla? Thank you so much for the five gift of subs. Holy moly! Thank you so much. Hope you're having a good day. So I'm wondering how bouncy this is. Oh, it's actually not as oh just kidding okay so if your if your keyboard is up here yeah it bounces quite a bit maybe maybe this wasn't meant for a 60 percent can i put my number one you guys think the number one's gonna break this <laughs> doesn't well we had this this it's rat it's rattle nation out here but I mean if I think if you're typing at regular speeds It's not that bad at regular speed. I, I, if most people don't type as fast as I do. Not that I'm a fast typist, but uh, not that bad actually. I figure if you're typing around 60 or 80, the shake isn't too much of a deal. But yeah, I mean, I feel like it would be better. They should probably have like a beam support outside so like because it's secured here and they should somehow secure this edge so it doesn't bounce as much you know uh, the idea is good but ergonomics might need some reworking yeah so it is high you're, you're definitely going to have to float um, unless you use I think in their pictures they had a wrist rest I don't have a wrist rest what Kelly, what the heck? Thank you so much for the 1500 bits. What? Holy moly, Kelly is back, guys. The mega cheer. WGM PC, thank you so much for the 100 bits. For sure, not call you tank approved. Uh, that was my first donation ever on Twitch. Will Trebosis 324 be decent for Holy Pandas? Yes, I would highly recommend 324. 
Uh, actually... No, okay. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not the best ergonomic, but it's, it's not as bad as it seems. Like, if you rest your hand on the actual stand, the ergonomics aren't too bad. The only thing is your wrist is going to hurt. Like, you can see it sticks out here. So it catches the keyboard. So when your when your wrists rest on it, it's gonna feel like you're cutting your wrist after some point because it's just, it's just digging into here. So yeah, I mean there, there is t a, t a quite a bit of room here, but I am also using a MacBook. There are there are tons of thicker keyboards out there. Yeah, but the, the wobble actually isn't that bad. Like, yeah, it, yeah, I do wish it was less wobbly. But this it was the biggest concern I have, but it's not that bad. It, it's livable. It's livable. But one thing I am noticing, though, it makes your keyboard sound a lot louder. <laughs> Like because your keyboard is like bouncing up and down on this, I feel like it, it creates an echo chamber underneath all this, so this isn't a quiet solution. I'm not sure if I would recommend this outside, maybe just at home. And it would be cool to see if they had some kind of cable management solution incorporated. Because most, if you're using most modern customs, they don't have Bluetooth support. So you're gonna have a giant cable hanging around loosely. It'd be cool if they can somehow, somehow do something to hide the cable a bit. That'd be pretty cool to see. Um, but I mean, the build is pretty sturdy. Need vents on the bottom. Yes, yeah, so I, I, do, I do think a lot of people ask for vents. So I think that's probably going to come Another another thing I noticed right off the bat, I wish uh, there were rubber pads where the keyboard would sit and the laptop. Because right now my laptop is just sitting against the aluminum. So it'd be nice to have some rubber padding so it doesn't scratch my keyboard or laptop. So I feel like that's a must. Um, or even if the whole bottom was lined with a sheet of rubber or something or foam of some kind because your, your laptop's going to slide around I feel like maybe maybe that's not an issue if you're using this at home Janelli Bean hello hello, hello. and it'll be cool if there's like a modular add-on so you could have your mouse too because now you gotta go from here to going all the way out here but if it was right here, it's less movement, you know? Yeah, but this is actually pretty sturdy. I was, I'm surprised it can support this number one. And like, it's still floating by a lot. It's not, I can put my finger in here easily. Pretty cool concept, but needs a little bit of work. But yeah, another worry I have is this height. Like, it's just so high. Like, my, my wrists are bent right now. I prefer to have it not bent. And I don't want to float my hands and type for hours on end. Uh, Eamsbird, thank you so much for the five months in a row. Hockey, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Carlbit, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Yeah. What do you guys think? What does chat think? You guys like this? They should have some standoffs at the bottom that rest on the laptop so it stops it from wobbling. Hmm. Hey, 
Uh, Vivo, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Not a bad idea, just a lot of design oversights. Yeah, I mean, so this, this once again, this is their first prototype. They are already working on a redesign. Um, this is not the final product you're going to be getting if you decide to join in on this. But they just sent me out to get uh, my feedback. So I think the biggest thing would be uh, rubber padding. So your devices, your peripherals don't scratch up when you're using this. Uh, maybe like a support beam here on the on this end so it doesn't wobble. Uh, maybe look to reduce the overall height of this if you can. Yeah. But I'm, I'm not really much of a big laptop user, so maybe I'm not the right target audience. But I think those are some critical initial designs that should be changed. And then the vents, I suppose. Uh, John 3H, thank you so much for the two months in a row. I wish it was portable. A folding design? Oh, okay, that's cool. If you are watching Kibi, that's a cool idea. If you can somehow incorporate this to be portable and foldable, that'd be pretty cool. As it stands, this isn't really something you can go outside with. Um, I feel like this is something you would just use in your home if you don't if you're not a desktop user and only have your laptop. So that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, but this, this is actually a lot more sturdy than I thought. I thought it would just give in. Um, another thing, <clears throat> yeah, I feel like the acoustics, it, like it increases the noise. So that's gonna be solved somehow with uh, more padding somewhere, somehow. You can hear all that reverb. Yeah. It was pretty sturdy, pretty sturdy. Yeah, so you, all that noise, <laughs> I feel like you need to line the top and bottom of this with some kind of foam, protective foam, and, and this edge too. Yeah. Yeah, no, no oil next time, please. My fingers are oily now. I mean, I, I could definitely see a use case for this though. There are tons of laptop uh, folks out there that don't like using desktops feel like this would be attractive to them pretty cool oh and another thing the edges are sharp the bottom edges are sharp you should round off like the, the edges it's chamfered here on top but why is the bottom not chamfered because this is the part where you actually grab it to lift off the device so you should probably chamfer the whole thing so it doesn't hurt Let's put this away. <sighs> I know what's coming. Next item to unbox. Da -da, who knows what's in here? Who knows what this is? Uh, Dodo Lift, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. You got a forearm tan? Yes, so I was on vacation last weekend. I went to SoCal. And look what happened to my arm. Because when I wear uh, long sleeves, I usually roll it up twice. I got a tan. <laughs> My face is a little bit redder too. My face is red too. Ta -da! Look at this. A personalized note. 
Nathan, thanks for being such a good friend and supporter of my projects. Enjoy the PCBs, Josh. So this is from Heine Bush. Um, I use, I only use Heine PCBs or Wilbur PCBs now. And I got some Thin Boys and some of the Alps uh, PCBs. Thank God someone is finally making, so this is the normal H87A. And then I got two Thin Boy H87 PCBs as well as two Alps H87 PCBs. I'll definitely be using these in the future for personal build. Oh, for personal builds at least. Yo, I got sent a lot of stickers. Look at this, tiny stickers. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Sticker giveaway, what do you mean? Just order from Heine. So go to Heine.cc um, to get your PCBs for TKLs. Heine, another uh, good PCB designer. He... These, th these H87s have pretty much made uh, TX87 PCBs obsolete. I would highly recommend these over the TX or Liku 87 PCBs. So yeah, go ahead and grab. Oh, they're all sold out. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's what you snooze, you lose. And, and so Heine did a new thing where he made the PCB 1.2 millimeters thick instead of the standard. Uh, I think the standard is 1.6, 1.4, 1.6. So because it's so thin, uh, he provides these spacers to account for that loss and gap for your uh, stabilizers. So this should be interesting to see how that works out. 1.6 is the standard. Yeah, I thought it was, I knew it was 1.6. Yeah, so we're going to be using these in the future. Thank you, Heine. Heine, another good friend of this channel. Should go check him out. All right. The last thing we have Whoa, what the heck? Uh, Dixie, thank you so much for the 2500 bits. What? He took that number one spot past Kelly. Thank you so much, Dixie. Happy Saturday to you too, Dixie. Uh, what's the advantage to making the PCB super thin like that? Uh, theoretically, it should provide for more flex when you type. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah, we got to hear it. We gotta hear it. Oh, I'm gonna spin my cash on a new keyboard. I'm gonna tap till I can't no more. I'm gonna spin my cash on a new keyboard. I'm gonna you know I got West German blacks, like made out of brass. He kept set her blacks, her a coat that case to match. Typing on a 40, got that limo cordy. My board is a fire, if you touch it, you'll get scores. I bought a new board, I'm stuntin'. Oh, shoot. New board, I'm stuntin'. Got the new board, I'm stuntin'. New board, I'm stuntin'. I bought a ram, uh, waiting on the bower. Tried to buy a key gold. Other folks were faster. JV2 from Uxie, PCB from Heine. Sell it for 2000 then they wanna kill me. Got a new board, I'm stuntin'. New board, I'm stuntin'. Bought a new board, I'm stuntin'. New board, I'm stuntin'. Thought star spend a lot of money on that used TGR. Messed around and made a set inspired by a sports bra. Now I can't be ran because I went and bought that cap block. So much flex polycarbonate. Got you a 5G on my fitted lag, which I can. 
This red, very nice. Wow! Can we can we get some claps for Dixie's amazing song? Okay, bring back the songs. <laughs> All right. So last thing to unbox is this GMK Hamon. Look at this. Will we use this today? Uh, we'll see. But I think if you got Hamon. The harmonality teas was a must. How can you say no to eggs and bacon? It's a fantastic novelty set. So we'll see if chat wants to use this on today's. Oh no, just kidding. We can't. We don't have a choice. The customer sent us keycaps. I lied. Maybe tomorrow. Can't use this today. Though. But at GMK Hamon, I think the extras are all sold out on novel keys already, right? So once again. You snooze, you lose. How can you say no to Enye? Novel it was sold out by the time I went on novel keys. Alright, we've been live for almost an hour. Time to start the actual build. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go wash my hands because I just played with oil. So you guys can enjoy a quick one minute ad. I'll be uh, I'll be back soon. Dixie Mac, thank you so much for the 12 bits by new desk mats now. Doopy, thank you so much for the three months in a row. WGM PC, thank you so much for the 55 bits. Uh, Log Cog, thank you so much for the two bits. All right, let us start the actual build today. So today's build is going to be with Helios. And we're going to Put on the CRP. Is this the Hebrew? No, I think this is the Arabic. So we're gonna see some nice Dysa PBT keycaps and Helios. But you guys are all probably curious as to what this keyboard looks like. What did the Jane V2 peak at? Does chat know? Is it 3.5? Did it ever go higher? How much does the Jane V2 go for nowadays? We have a Jane V2 in my hands. So we're going to need this PCB. Comes wrapped in the uh, anti static thing. Uh, MKC keyboards. Thank you so much for the 20 bits. Oh, so this person got a half. Uh, is this half acrylic? Well, maybe this is a special option. I wasn't aware there was a half plate option. That's pretty cool. Polycarb? I don't think it was offered, right? Yeah, it might be polycarb. Well, we won't be building with the polycar because we are going to be building it with 
Do I see that blue gray? The blue gray with the brass. Is this yours? This is not mine. My Jane still has not shipped. Oh baby. I'm excited for this keyboard. I also am waiting for my blue gray Jane. <laughs> Shall we see? Have you guys seen? Has a blue gray Jane been built on stream yet? A legendary keyboard that supposedly flipped for $3,500. Can you guys even tell it's blue gray? Four twenty, four twenty. <laughs> Look at this beauty, guys. Um, it might not look as blue on screen. In person, there's definitely a blue hint. Maybe this color is better? Yo, what the heck? What did, what madness did TGR do? Oh, so there's, there's a bit of mismatch for sure. アイスゲン、アイスゲン、アイスゲン、アイスゲン、アイスゲン、アイスゲン、アイスゲン、アイスゲン、アイスゲン、アイスゲン、アイスゲン、アイスゲン、アイスゲン、アイスゲン、アイ
You can definitely feel the seam on the side and the back though. Oh my gosh. Look at this TGR logo in the front. This is a very big pre-nut color. This deserves a pre-nut. And that Jane uh, brass plate with the TGR logo as well. This board is so tempting because it's got half my name but TKL. <laughs> Um, Captain Schwa, thank you so much for the three months in a row with Twitch Prime. Teal Tracks, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. All right, shall we? Um, shall we get to the build? So the PCB is inside, so I'm going to have to undo this. Yeah, we have seen James before. Uh, we have seen James before, so I won't go too in depth on inspecting it or showing it off. I mean. The only thing different about this Jane is that it is the first blue-gray one we have seen on my stream. Uh, who makes this board? TGR. Why is it that when I try to search for TGR, I can't find ex anything? Uh, TGR, yes, they are the designer, but they don't have a website or anything. Uh, they're just an, they're just one single individual who uh, just makes this for the community because they enjoy it. They have no website, no nothing. The uh, TGR boards are sold through GeekHack. That is where you can purchase these. Do they have an Instagram or anything? Nope, not really. He has a personal one, but I don't know if that's public or not. But yeah, if you ever want to purchase a, if you ever want to purchase a TGR board, you will either have to find it in the aftermarket if you miss the group buy, or be one of the quick lucky few that joined the group by on GeekHack. TGR boards sell out in seconds. Filth, GG, thank you so much for the four months in a row. Yeah, this new desk mat, I feel like is doing really well. You can purchase these on Dixie Mech now, guys. And please consider using my affiliate link if you want to help support the channel. So this bottom piece comes off. We had this weapon before, right? <gasps> die number one, die! Very nice. <laughs> Which leaves you with the chain bar. Hmm. Okay, so this blue gray Jane, I don't know if you guys remember or were there for the gray uh, The gray Jane that we built up that had some very scuffed internals. This one internally Has no issues. <laughs> I mean it, once again internal damage. I Don't think matters too much since you'll never see it, but I'm curious as to why that gray one Had so much internals damage like this one is perfectly fine internally Yeah, I feel like TGR logo is kind of tacky. Really, I I personally like the TGR logo. I I mean, it's definitely noticeable, but I don't think it's a I don't think it's too offensive or loud of a logo. I would say. Yeah, I personally think the TGR logo looks great. Like three, uh, three letter three letter acronyms are probably the standard for a lot of things. TGR rolls off your tongue pretty nicely, in my opinion. The font is pretty nice too, in my opinion. Yeah, but I mean, all all subjective on what you think about the logo. Uh, I enjoy watching your YouTube videos a lot. Can you tell me please if I buy a KBD 75 pre-assemble from KBD fans? Is there firmware installed when I choose a layout or do I have to flash it? Uh, it comes flashed with a layout by default, but if you want to change it, you will have to pre you will have to flash it on your own. But it, it does come uh, pre-flashed with the default layout. 
<laughs> TGR GMK HKB <laughs> That TGR GMK Who else has three? THT Teha types PBT ABS KBD OTD there you go <laughs> XDA POM PPS So this is a giant piece of not giant it's a small piece of stainless steel which serves as the accent piece for this keyboard whoa what the heck is this Ooh. TOS <laughs> so without all that this is what the keyboard looks like This blue looks so nice. It's a, it's a shame the mismatch is very hard to uh, make possible, but this blue is so nice in person. Win W Win Keyless TKO. Yep, also another three-letter acronym. Alright, so now that the stainless steel is gone, I can remove my gloves again. Uh, can someone identify the blackboard used for the GMK Olive Group by? It has a three indicator lights. I am actually not sure what board was used for the GMK Olive render. Oh, it's the NK65? Okay, there you go. Crawl good answer. Nasty's here. Look who we have. We have... We have the best Metkeys mod, Nastro, in chat. Nastro, I did it. I, uh... You, uh, you, you better hold up on your... On your statement, Nastro. Otherwise, I can sabotage you. <laughs> yeah, and the nice thing about the TGR board it uses the same screw size despite all these components. Actually, does this? Okay, so this is the one different one, but you never theoretically need to take this weight off. You only need to take this brass weight off if you uh, want to inspect it. But at least for the parts that are required to be taken off. Um, it is all using the same uh, 1.5, no, 2.0 hex screw. Should I buy a PCB from Mechanisk if I'm going to get the Feel Classic? Uh, it's being done with Wilba, so I would highly recommend it. You don't, it's not absolutely required. But I believe the new PCB is going to have the uh, the flex cup, so that should be very interesting. Did you answer the lube question? I don't know what the lube question. Oh, for three two zero four for holy pandas, yes, highly recommended. All right, so let us take this top case off. Voila. And here we have the PCB internally left inside. Okay, so this internal, pretty scuffed. Did I see that a streak up here? Photo focus. Ooh. But it's, it's internal, so not the end of the world. Big oof. Runs pretty, this is a pretty nasty internal mark. We 
are going to need the plate as well. What type of lube do you recommend for Gatoron yellows? I would recommend uh, any lube from switchmod.net. Crytox 205 grade zero, Trebosis 3204, 3203. I recommend all of those. How much do people pay for this board? It varies drastically. So this board retailed, uh, it retailed for $550, but the aftermarket price uh, is easily, it ranges from double to quadruple the price currently. And I believe only 40 of these were made. What lube would you recommend for Holy Pandas? Uh, Trebosis 3204. So we have the brass plate here. Uh, I personally like the brass, personally like the plate of the Jame V2. So it is brass, but because there's so many relief cuts and especially large ones, it actually has a pretty uh, flexible typing experience. And I like that. So we'll play around with this as well. And this is what the top piece looks like. Oof, top piece also a little bit scuffed. You guys can see that. Little focus. But yeah, once again, internal damage happens but the external externally it is fine <sighs> did you get tanned I did yes this is a tan line that you're seeing <laughs> all right uh, we need switch hitter ah this is Ewing going to test the PCB hopefully it works if it doesn't thankfully this customer purchased an extra PCB so we can use that so we are just checking to see that each key uh, registers a single key doesn't really matter what it registers at lo as long as it registers a single key once that's all that we care about. We're in full backspace. ever gotten a ripped PCB on a high end? What is a ripped PCB? Simple flips. Hello. Don't think I've seen you before. Hello, hello. Like a dead one. Uh, I don't know if I've had a fully dead PCB on stream. I have had a P I have had PCBs where uh Certain keys were borked. 
but I don't think I've ever had a completely dead PCB on stream. Yeah, we are going wind keyless. Works. Spacebar works. Alt works. Oh, what the... We're all right. Everything works fine. What do you do, simple flips? Whoa, who is this person? Simple flips does Mario 64. Holy moly, that's a throwback. You're talking about keyboards on Twitter. Oh, okay. I, I think I do know what you're talking about. I what the heck? Why was I so... I'm guessing I don't need to install this because I was not expecting to install full tights today. They are for nothing. Okay. The zeal stabs are here, and that's what we need. Oh, what is up with this wire selection? Uh, tire no. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. So we have a six two five. We're gonna go use the gold seven U. Don't need these. Yes, we are building it with zeal stabs today. Shiny silver and gold zeal stabs. We're gonna need one for left shift, full backspace, enter, full left, right shift, two, four. Nice, we have everything, okay. Uh, MKTN, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Uh, Biscuit Roller, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Two's compliment, hello. What switches are you using? We are using Helios for today's build. So we're doing a silent build today. Alright, so the nice thing about zeal stabs, don't need to clip them, so we can go straight to the lubing. I was able to get my hands on a Year of the Dog board lately and I love it. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. A lot of, I know a lot of people like the keycaps for it and the design. Uh, Truffle KB, thank you so much for the two months in a row with Twitch Prime set. You're the reason I fell so far in this hobby, I hope you know that. <laughs> Welcome bike pedal, welcome to the keyboard hobby. If you're joining now, you are still joining in early. Just just like there was a uh, crypto bubble, the keyboard bubble hasn't even happened yet. My guess is that we are going to see a keyboard bubble explode soon. And you are, if even if you are joining now, you are still early. Janelli, how have you been? I feel like I haven't seen you in a long time. All right, so we are lubing the stabilizers, tuning the stabilizers. Um, makes a big difference. Zeal is going to be a rich man soon, probably. <laughs> hey, I mean, if, if Zeal blows up, uh, makes it rich, I think that's just a bonus for the community. Hey, 
his success will only trickle down to others, I feel like. Can I make it rich too? Curlbit, you already make it rich. With all the blue. How many views has the uh, the Verge's key keyboard video gotten? Has it exploded? One hundred thirty one K. Okay, it's not too much. Feels bad. I was I was hoping it would have been in like the millions. Moist nachos, thank you so much for the three months. You should try and collab with Linus Tech Tips. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I, w I would love to, but I don't think, I don't think a collab with Linus Tech Tips is, Tech Tips is something you, uh, you can request. <laughs> Linus's position is like beyond what I could imagine. I'm 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 not of the status where I can just reach out to Linus and be like, yo, let's collab. <laughs> it's either Linus reaches out to me and I I accept. I have no choice but to accept or Yeah. <laughs> just ask him. I'm pretty sure if I DM'd Linus, it wouldn't even make it through his filters. I feel like once you get to that status, um, those platforms probably have like filters set up for you to just like disregard spammy DMs like that. I mean, I, I'm not even that big and I get so many DMs I don't know how people handle I can see why like, like like celebrities have people handling their social media and all that there's just so many DMs you have to get through um, I, I could only imagine what kind of uh, customer support vendors have to go through it's it's insane it's a lot like I probably spend at least a good hour or two just answering DMs and questions every day now it's crazy. Obama would be a good collab. <laughs> As if Obama would agree to collab with me. <laughs> I think you would I think he would, Nathan. You need to have faith. Okay, you guys, you guys are just trying to debate me up for a failure. That's what it is. You guys just want to watch me fail and burn to the ground. Ask Trump. <laughs> you and MKBHT have similar aesthetics. No, you can't say that. <laughs> that's a, that's a huge, that's a huge, uh, that's a huge insult to MKBHT because I am nowhere near MKBHT's aesthetic level. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that we have different aesthetics. I love MKBHT's aesthetics, but in terms of my like video skills, it's nowhere near MKBHT's. I mean, I, I would love to get to his uh, his status, but that man just has insane gear. Um, I'm also not too versed with videography. I have a lot to learn. Hi, Nathan. I now this is your rank shot. Pokemon news sponsor. The Thai Hater is smart. Is put to the We are on a bond. Coming community. That can only grow. Shenanigans, D. Thank you so much for the 500 bits. 
The Taya Types Mod Esports Team. What is this esports team that I have never heard of that's using my name? I do not endorse this. MKBHD just bought a red before everyone else IMO and that got too big to fail. No, but I feel like MKBHD isn't just being hard carried by his production quality. He actually has a lot of insightful things to say in his reviews, in my opinion. Like there are definitely some people out there who are just um, hard carried by like insane video production or their editing, but uh, I feel like MKBHD actually, he's an insightful man. <sighs> Collab with Jerry Rig Everything Durability Test. <sighs> should, we, should we send him a TGR Jane to durability test? Collab with Dixie Mech. What do you mean? I'm already collabing with Dixie Mech. Dixie Mech is a sponsor. <clears throat> oh man, I could. I wonder what kind of. I can only imagine what kind of drawing. Jerry rig everything would try to engrave on a TGR Jane. I actually like, like have you guys seen the engravings he does with his knife? It's actually pretty impressive. Like he can he can draw. <laughs> and it's not easy to carve out something with his knife. Let's build a keyboard from the ground up, Tyler says. Oh man, I think that uh, that's that's beyond my knowledge. I wish I paid more attention in my EE classes in college. Now that I'm doing all this keyboard stuff, so I just kind of cruised by it at the time because I was required to take it. Have, I, have you tried BK Redux Topra? I have. I've tried... I've only tried the light for an extensive period of time, but I have used some of the other ones. Uh, which feels closer to 55 grams. Yeah, I would say either light or uh, maybe even the ultralight. Do you ha actually have any collabs in the future? I do, MKFN. One one of them was actually uh, released yesterday. It was leaked on chat yesterday. There is a collab coming up for sure. I've designed PCBs before, but never a keyboard ones. Wonder how hard it would be. I don't think PCBs uh, are actually hard to make for keyboards. I could probably self-teach it myself if I really wanted to and take the time, but don't have time for that. Uh, J1042, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Saturday or Sunday. Our carp. Thank you so much for the five months. Whoa. This collab, when are we going to hear an official statement regarding the collab? 
out here partying. What? You're partying and watching my stream at a party? What are you doing? Is the party dry and not fun? That's a pretty sad party if the guest is watching my stream instead of partying at the party. I'm more interesting than parties? I was, that's hard to believe. I'm not that interesting. I'm a pretty boring person. Zeal Stab versus GMK Screw and Stab's opinions. Uh, I would say the only reason you should ever get Zeal Stab's are if you want the aesthetics. Or if you don't plan on lubing your stabilizers. Zeal Stab's are a little bit quieter in my opinion. They rattle a little bit less than GMK screw-in. But if you're tuning, if you're gonna tune your stabilizer, uh, there's no real performance difference. It's mostly an aesthetic difference. Yeah, I mean, Zeal stabilizers look pretty, but I could, I honestly don't care about the aesthetics of my keyboard. I don't care how my keyboard looks underneath the keycaps. I have keycaps on my keyboards once it's built. So like, I could honestly care less about the switch color, the switch film color, like that honestly doesn't bother me at all. So I don't care too much about how my stabilizers look but some people do. Is it better to choose a keyboard for gaming based on ergonomics or the style? Uh, I, I don't I don't know what you mean by that. Like when you're choosing a keyboard for gaming the style of the keyboard doesn't matter it's about the when you choose a keyboard just for gaming all you i feel like what you need to worry about is uh which keys do you actually need as dedicated keys for that keyboard and then just find one that fits that bill like there's no such thing as a gaming keyboard we were actually having this discussion in my Discord earlier today, too. RGB gives you fr RGB gives you free RGB. Did you know that? What? <laughs> what? Is there anything like cherry browns but nicer? Yes. Something that is like cherry browns but nicer would be lubed cherry browns. You lube your cherry browns and they feel a lot nicer. Or you can go with a decent linear. Or a mod H, sorry, mod M, no, mod L. Whichever one the light tactile version of the mod switches. Oh, we have random Frank P again. Hello. Hello. Random Frank P is now a VIP, guys. Because we're working on a collab. So I think that's worthy of a VIP.
we are building a TGR Jane today. Uh, Frank, do you know about TGR keyboards? How how closely do you keep up with the uh, the like high end custom scene, Frank? Can I ask? Like I know your content is mostly geared towards the but more budget friendly end, but. I, I do know you frequent RMK quite a bit. I'm wondering how how much you care about like the high end segment. Uh, WGM PC, thank you so much for the 112 bits. What do you think about Cherry MX Red switches? I think Cherry MX Reds are perfectly fine switches if you lube them. I would never. <sighs> <laughs> oh, well, Synergy, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Random Frank P. I didn't know you've already gifted that many. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Random Frank P is one of us now. Uh, yeah, Cherry MX Blacks, Cherry MX Reds are good linears. You just have to lube them. I would never use them unlooped, but when you lube them, they become pretty nice linears. The Atomic Monkey, thank you so much for the tier one sub. What lube did he say was good for Holy Pandas? Trebosis 3 till 4. What? Functional. <laughs> Thank you so much for gifting five tier one subs. Holy. I love you, Mr. Kim. <laughs> I love you too, Potato Cloud. Thank you so much for the four months. Holy moly, functional. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, more as of lately, I've always had an interest in this stuff be behind the scenes, but since the channel is more gaming oriented, I never fully committed to investing more money in custom board. But after seeing some Rama stuff a few years ago and builds on Reddit, I knew I was going to cave in. Ooh, that's cool. Do you prefer Gatoron Inks or Telios for linears? I would say Gatoron Inks, to be honest. Telios are nice, but. Gatoron inks are pretty close and they sound a little bit better in my opinion so I might just save my 30 cents and I'll go with the inks but if, if smoothness is your number one priority then Telios is the way to go can you make Handerbait video? he might, I mean Handerbait went live <laughs> uh, it's possible Random Frank P is a Handerbait lover I just need to commit to a plate for my grid and hopefully I can buy some aftermarket sky. Ooh. Yeah, the, the custom scene is definitely growing a lot more than it has in the past year. I mean, it's, it's crazy that people watch my Twitch streams <laughs> where I build high-end customs. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy there are 450 people watching me build a luxury custom keyboard on Twitch. I've secretly been working on a custom GMK set, but I'm taking a while to get that ball rolling. Did Random Frank P just give us a tease? Did we just get some exclusive leaks, guys? Whoa. Wait, by custom GMK, does that mean you're planning on running a group buy with it? Or it's literally custom like just for yourself and you're making a one-off? I'm gonna guess you meant like a random Frank P set that you're gonna run as a group by.
This beats ASMR. See, I still find that so weird. People find me ASMR. A full group buy with vendors once I finalize my renders. Uh, I mean, if, if you need help, I don't know if you do your own renders, Frank, um, or you probably might have someone you hire for renders, but yeah, if you, if you need help with renders or uh, running a group buy, I can, we can definitely help you out. I have run one myself. But I'm sure you probably have uh, designers and graphics people you trust, so. It's not necessarily ASMR, but it can be super relaxing to chill out and watch. See, I, I, I find that weird too. I've never considered myself to be someone like that. <laughs> and I find it odd that people enjoy me for that. How do you feel about the played PCB that appeared in the mechanical key subreddit? I'm not sure I saw that. I didn't check RMK today. What was your first mech? My first mech was my Real Force 104 UG High Pro. Are you streaming in two days? No, I stream three times a week currently. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, I'll definitely hit you up when I have a question or something. I appreciate it. I'm still new to that scene and I'm in the early process after taking a while to get started. Can we get some pogs in chat? Random Frank P is getting sucked into the high-end custom scene. Yeah, but I mean, it, but it's really, it's pretty cool to see a lot of big and mainstream tech YouTubers getting into the keyboard scene. I think that's awesome. Maybe that means Taya types will have to retire if they go deep into the space, but it's okay. If it's for the bettering and furthering of the hobby, I'll close down tail types. I won't allow it. waiting for my mod benefits. <laughs> what? Dixie! Thank you so much for another 1000 bits. Man, Dixie's number one this month. This man. It's almost like he's asking for his song to be played again. I feel like that's the sub sub message I'm getting. The subliminal hint. Play my song again, Nathan. Uh, Frank, can I ask you another question? Do you do you keep up with like the new I guess like new generation of tech YouTubers, like uh, like uh, BT Brian, Brandon Taylor, uh, Bad Seed. I've been getting to know them quite a bit as of late. Uh, Brandon Taylor also streams on Twitch. 
Are switches universal? Mm, depends on the switch and PCBs. So I would say for the most part, yes, but not necessarily true. Yeah, BT and I. Oh, oh, Frank just leaked. Oh, I mean, I, I had an, I had an idea. It was you. Uh, I don't know if you know, but uh, BT and uh, Bad Seed did a, uh, they had a collab stream, and they said there was a, there was a huge collab coming up for them too. So, I, I had a feeling it was you. <laughs> A link to those spacers, it is linked on my Amazon storefront, which is linked on one of the panels where you can do exclamation gear. Who's the most famous person you've built a keyboard for? Oh, that's hard. How do you judge famousness? Um, there is a keyboard in the works for June Curry on who has I think like 1.4, 1.5 million subs on YouTube. Uh, it hasn't been delivered yet, it's still being made. Um, there's also a keyboard in the works for Skara. Uh, I am working with Skara currently to get him a custom keyboard built. Uh, he has stated this on his stream, so I am allowed to say it. Yeah, I would say those two are probably the biggest people in terms of numbers probably influence too uh, afro move well, i'm talking with afro too nothing set with afro yet but you watched the keyboard video from the verge yes i did um it was it was actually a great video i feel like maybe my tweet might have sounded sarcastic but I, I I genuinely think it was a great video I just feel like they missed out on an opportunity to make it like amazing like a ridiculously good video because snazzy labs uh, snazzy labs did a video which was pretty well received snazzy labs did a pretty good build but the one thing he forgot to do was uh, lube his switches and stabilizers and then he he he, uh, he made a follow-up video where he did actually uh, lube the stabilizers and it made a big difference and he he agreed himself too and then the verge makes their video and they did the exact same thing <laughs> like yeah they got some parts not entirely correct but overall i think it was a it was a great video it's just they missed out on an opportunity to make it even better. Because when you when you watch the video, it starts off with like, ooh, the keyboard end game, and how people spend a ridiculous amount of money, and you can customize it this way and that. And then you get to the end, and you hear the typing test, and it sounds like trash. <laughs> and like, who's gonna, who's gonna, who's gonna buy into this end game dream when your spacebar sounds like that? <laughs> The space port honestly sounded like worse than the Razer keyboard in my opinion. <laughs> like they had this huge build up and then the typing test killed it. But like it's great they uh, they gave exposure to some community vendors, like actual community vendors um, who sell enthusiast parts. I think that was fantastic. Um, the, I think the, the video person was also a pretty uh, great person I liked the way he talked um, the flow of the video was nice the, the, the videography was nice yeah they just missed out on the chance to make it really like a killer video like like lubing switches I can understand why people don't want to go through the effort of doing that but if you're building a custom keyboard I think lubing your stabilizers is a must From your experience, would you can brass is the better plate option out there? What did you mean? Do I think brass is the better plate option? Uh, I think brass plates tend to make tactile switches sound better. I think it brings out a better 
sound for tactile switches. Um, but brass is pretty stiff as a material. I feel like the community in general is kind of moving away from brass plates. Uh, currently, like the the craze right now, and at least the high end custom scene is um, a lot of people want a comfortable kind of flexy typing experience. So we're actually exploring a lot of uh, plastic plates, like polycarb, acrylic. Uh, palm is becoming pretty popular in the high-end scene. Um, but yeah, bra brass does sound nice. Like one of probably my most famous video, the one with the holy pandas that was built on a brass plate. And the reason it sounds like that is because it's using a brass plate. So. Uh, brass plates definitely sound nice. Yeah, but I mean, it's also subjective. Some people want a very stiff, firm typing experience. Some people want a very soft bottom out. Yeah, no, no real absolute. Uh, letter AHB, thank you so much for the two months in a row. Humpters, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. It's a grim, thank you so much for the five dollar tip. Sorry, I missed it. Uh, I'm getting Gator on yellow switches, and I want to know if I should lube them. If so, which lube? You should lube Gator on yellows. Yes, I would personally recommend Crytox Two Hundred Five Grade Zero. Let's test the stabilizers. What do you think about Silent Skies? I'm not a fan of sky switches in general. Uh, Shant Shtanray, thank you so much for the three months in a row. It's been three months already since I've gotten sucked into hobby. Welcome, welcome. Nightcaps? Oh shoot, there's a Nightcaps raffle? Yo, this colorway is dank. Hold on, hold on. I gotta enter this raffle. Oh no, what's the answer? What's the answer? And what city is the white gold tower? Imperial city. Okay, I just submitted. I just submitted. <sighs> Alright, let's see how these stabilizers sound. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the answers, guys. On your channel, I have no idea what's happening. Uh, I just currently lube the stabilizers and we're testing them to see how they sound. Spacebar sounds funky though. Space bar need a little bit more. Dang it. Oh, 
What was that? Upstroke? Um, silent switches tend to not sound good on the Hello? stabilized keys. Whoa, flood control. Thank you so much for the $10 tip. What? Thank you so much. And Fundal Lol, thank you so much for the two months in a row. Yeah, so the thing with stabilize, uh, the thing with silent switches, they're very silent when you lube it, so all you hear is the stabilizer, which is normally masked by the switch sound. So that's why they tend to sound weird and not the best. But the uh, right shift and spacebar were a little bit under lubed in my opinion, so I'm going to need to add a little bit more. Well, keycap, uh, this is GMK Solarized. I just forgot, I forgot to unbox one more thing. Maybe I'll do it at the end of the stream. There is one more thing I could unbox. Does it matter what direction you put the spacebar stab? Yes, your PCB will normally only support one orientation. So you can only actually install it one way for the most part. Some PCBs support both directions, uh, which in that case is uh, it's dependent on the plate. Some plates allow, for some plates it doesn't matter what direction some place it does matter do you have any experience with the crystal lube Quaken's mentioned it specifically for the holy pandas I have brief experience um, I've tried a couple customer boards that were lewd with it. Uh, it felt okay. I think I'd personally stick with Crytox if I could. But they are cheaper, I think. So if you're on a tight budget, the Christos are not bad. I personally think the Crytox lube job is still a little bit better. Would you ever part ways with your HHKB or will it always be in your collection? Uh, the two HHKBs I currently have, I will probably keep with me until I die. Unless I am in dire need of money. Yeah, but the two HHKBs I have are pretty much set. Why 
are you guys monk and essing? Is this a hobby or full-time job? It is a hobby that I am trying to make a full-time job. Ah, I see the problem. The spacebar wire is bent. Hmm. The wire is slightly bent, Nastro. It's definitely bent. Which can make your stab sound funky. Alright, let's see if I can hot fix. I mean, I can't put a book on this anymore. I'm streaming right now. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not that terrible of... of hmm, it's pretty curved, actually. But I think we can bend it. Straightness. Voices out. for me. No win for me. Okay. Oh, whoops. That's not as bad anymore. We'll see. I, I don't think you need to replace it. We'll see how this one sounds. Man, I've been having a very big uh, loot, very big uh, ETF wind drought. This is this is why uh, bent wires matter. 
you can see here it's it's banging against this top plate. So you hear that noise. So that's why you need to check your wires for straightness. Because if you have a bent wire like this, it can uh, hit against the plate like that. Weren't there two 70 wires in here? There is a second wire. So I'm just going to try this. Okay, this one's pretty straight. <clears throat> this one is pretty straight. We can use this wire. It's hot. I gotta take my headphones off for a bit. Is the orange thing you pulled out a switch? Yes, these are the switches. Man, what a long stream today. Didn't think we'd have to deal with a bent wire. This, just leave aside for now. Uh, Slothy Moppy, thank you so much for the 99 bits. I have no idea what's happening, but I'm enjoying it. I love the music. Thank you. We are building a expensive custom keyboard today. Apparently we are lubing the stabilizers to eliminate the rattle that comes from stabilizers. Uh, there's already a bit of lube in the stab, so I'm gonna go light lighter on this. Both of my FC 660s yesterday has changed my life. Yes, Feel, feeling a well lubed board is life changing. I agree. What lube do you recommend for Gat Yellows? Crytox 205 Grade Zero. Okay, let's see how good this space bar is. I should put more switches around it. Continue to build the saved.
I experienced this with the previous chain. Even though it's a brass plate, because the relief cuts are so big, uh, there's a chance it might droop down. So I'm going to place all the switches on and then smash it into the PCB. And we are also using Gatoron switches, so they are a bit thicker and harder to press in. It was a pain putting in Holy Jesus. Yeah, now, now you guys understand my pain when I build a Holy Panda builds with Singa or TGR plates. What are your top three switches? I have a fave switches command. I mean, as long as the type plates are machined properly, it means like super sturdy mounting and little to no wonky keys, right? Uh, assuming they're cut straight, yes. I mean, type plates aren't necessarily a bad thing. It's just installing them might be a pain. What is your favorite kale switch? Kale creams are my favorite kale switches. Loose is bad, yeah, for sure. I'd, I would rather have a tight plate than a loose plate. I think hot swap is detracting from the community standpoint of mechs. Now that people don't have to solder, it seems a certain aspect of something works here. So, uh, no, I, I don't think hot swap is detracting from mechanical keyboards at all. I think if anything, uh, the community could actually use more hot swap options because there currently aren't that many hot swap options out there. No lube on the switches. These were already lubed. These switches have already been lubed. Heine needs to make a hot swap PCB. <laughs> He's got a yellow cap, what? What yellow cap? Oh. <laughs> I still have the OG vials too. Dang, that's, cra that's crazy to think. There are people 
who might not know about the OG 205 grade zero vial. Not even white tops. What the heck? Meiosis, please. You know what else is OG? When when Tomu used to run group buys of VPF 1514 in his blue cap vials on mech market, that's pretty OG too. <laughs> It's not that OG, but in terms of lube, in terms of lube age. Yeah, I know curl bit. <laughs> I know. I, I was still pretty active in in that server during that time. Or when Tomu used to offer lube services as Krellbit's apprentice. That seems like long ago now compared to today. When Krellbit retired his lube services and Tomu took over When people used to complain about Krellbit charging 55 cents per lube job, and now people are willing to throw money for switch lube jobs. $0.55 cents per lube switch, big scam. Dude, 30 cents per switch? It's honestly not worth it at that point. <laughs> like, unless you just want switches to lube for experience. But even then, you're putting your reputation on the line at that point if you're experimenting with your lubing. It's not worth lubing switches for that cheap, in my opinion. Dude, I, I never thought it was scam, Krellbit. I have always been a supporter of paying lubers more. Who needs reputation when everybody flips everything anyways? Rama was my first customer, oof. I hand lube the rest by hand. Oof. What is a win key layout? Uh, this is a win key layout when your keyboard has the dedicated Windows key. Why pay when you can do it yourself? Uh, it takes a very long time. And some people just aren't good at lubing. Uh, it does require a little bit of. It doesn't require insane dexterity, but. Some people, like I know some people who have like hand issues or 
Yeah, there are legitimate reasons why some people can loot. What? Why are you, who are you trying to ban? Eventually, we will make switches that don't need to be lewd. Yeah. Hopefully. Actually, just kidding. I, I don't wish for that feature to come anymore, because then I would run out of content. insert this yes we can Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, but then that would create noise, Polyzy. You would be able to hear it during the stream. I suffer in heat for you guys. So you guys don't have to hear white noise.
solder some angry switches on first. And then we'll get into our favorite time. I hate building TGR boards with non-cherry switches. It's a struggle every time. like everything is in straight we can now get to the sponsor time we have a couple sponsors for Tata types the first sponsor is Dixie Mac head on over to dixiemac.com slash types to get nice desk mats like this floral one that I'm using. They have some other cool and amazing desk mats as well. Uh, GMK Mizu also going for a second round of samples, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, first round looks pretty promising though. Next we have KBD fans. KBD Fans is the go-to place for entry-level and budget-friendly 
builds currently. Head on over to kbdfans.cn to start your keyboard career. The next sponsor is Keycult. We built up their number one revision one yesterday. Um, there is this is being raffled, wrap, uh, raffle to purchase it, not a free raffle. But in case you guys missed the raffle in the morning, you guys can sign up to be entered to purchase this at 10 p.m. EST. Yeah, keycap boards. Oh, very nice. Glalay, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. The next sponsor we have is Kono from Kono.store. They carry a wide variety of products as well, ranging from budget friendly and entry level friendly to some pretty high end stuff. I would recommend you guys check them out as well. And I would also highly recommend you guys join the newsletter for the Keystone keyboard that we'll be releasing soon with their Silo Switch. The next sponsor we have is Novel Keys. XYZ. Uh, I do have a promo code with them, NK space types. We'll get you 5% off any in stock item if you use my code. It is reusable. Yeah, GMK Olive is still live. Uh, GMK Korean Beige. GMK Beige Korean. I forgot what the name is, but that is also live. If you guys own any uh, keycap set that has L9. I would highly recommend you guys join GMK Korean Beige because uh, the community needs a bit of love for the hunger support. I feel like there's going to be a new wave of hunger sub legended uh, keycaps coming soon. Uh, Nito is already hopping on the Hangul wave. Zondat is doing the uh, GMK Korean Beige. So yeah, I feel like I feel like soon we're going to see an we're gonna see an influx of a uh, Korean sub legend Korean sub legended keycaps. And GMK Korean beige is one way to start riding that wave. Novel Keys and Dixie Mech also do stock Tia type stickers, so if you guys wanna help support me. A bit of the purchase does help support me, so please consider adding one to your order. And the NK65 also currently live for pre-order, as well as a ton of other switches, stickers, and pins. Next we have switchmod.net, where I get all of my lube from. I recommend all of the lubes on switchmod.net. Uh, I do have an affiliate link. Using my link will get you 4% off applied at checkout. Uh, it is switchmod.net slash types. So if you want to help support me, using my affiliate links is one way that helps me out a lot. So yeah, head on over to switchmod.net slash types to get your lubes. And last but not least, we have zealpc.net slash types. Zealpc is where you can get these super silent helio switches. But they also have some of the, mo some of the most tactile, some of the most smooth linear switches on the market. So head on over to zealpc.net slash types. Uh, Sergeant R. Osu, thank you so much for the 20 bits. Hello, hello. Rooster, hello, welcome back. Thank you so much for the tier 1 sub. Thoughts on the U80? Uh, I like it. 
I like the aesthetics. I've always liked Rama's aesthetics. I can't really predict what it's going to sound or feel like. But yeah, looking forward to it. No one can really predict what the U80 is going to sound or feel like. And that goes for any keyboard. I mean, unless it's using some known mounting system or plate design, then you can probably predict something, but ROM is doing something different, so hard to say. Uh, the Carl Q, thank you so much for the three months in a row. Welcome back. Am I going to build a Volcano 660? I don't think I've seen a request for one in my uh, build queue yet. I didn't join in on the group line for it, so I'm not sure. But if anyone wants to sign up for a Volcano 660 build, more than happy to build one. We're gonna get a late dinner, have a good night. Y'all pretty people, thanks for stopping by, Dixie. Uh, Log7k, thanks so much for the two months. And Willie, thank you so much for the two months as well. See how quickly I can get through soldering this. I like the coup board of what? <laughs> I do not own a cooler master. <sighs> Two more rows left. Where can I get that custom detachable USB cable? There you go, there's the cable car command. But you can also hit up other folks. I haven't personally tried them myself, but Juju cables, Chris cables, Zap cables, Met cables. Cable car is the only person I've really tried, but it seems like they've all been pretty popular options as well.
which kits did you buy for GMK Oblivion Round 2? I think I joined them for the base. I already have the Hogomoro White Alphas kit from Round 1, so I don't think I'm joining on there. I don't know if I want to join Space Cadet, it's a lot. It's a lot of money. Yeah, but I mean, I luckily have kits from Round 1, so I don't need to purchase all of them. Are you going to the Seattle meetup? I'm not sure yet, I haven't bought tickets, but it's going to be an expensive trip. I just bought TwitchCon tickets recently, so we'll see. Going to Seattle, it's not as cheap as I thought. I just went to KeyCon recently, so... Yeah, but it's already too late for me. <laughs> I mean, I, I checked Southwest and the ticket price tickets are already like 300 plus and then I have to pay for housing and meals on top of that and like the uber costs that I'll have to also pay to install the stabilized keys. Now a trip to, to a networking event. Who do I need to network at Seattle though? Who are some Seattle exclusive people that I didn't meet at TwitchCon? I mean not TwitchCon, KeyCon. The only, I mean I've met Mac Merlin before. I've met, I met a, I met, I met Kelly at KeyCon. Top Clack, well, so I, I've met Top Clack before I started content creating. <laughs> I did meet them before I was a nobody. Steve Ballmer, who's that? out and I remember it a hundred percent. Dixie you lie. Dixie does not remember hanging out with me. Feels bad.
can meet Crowbit. Come to come to NorCal. Come to NorCal, Crowbit. NorCal is going. NorCal is most likely going to be first weekend of November. Okay, put it in the right spots. Some additional keys to check for straightness. Probably come to NorCal. Oof, you, you better Dixie, cause NorCal is my home turf. You better come to NorCal. The NorCal, NorCal keyboard scene is. I haven't been to Seattle yet, but NorCal keyboard scene is pretty, pretty OP in my opinion. Space bar sounds kind of dank. The power of straight wires. I'm off. Good catching you. Janelli, thank you for stopping by. Yeah, I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a good one. Hope you have a good one, Janelli. If you guys don't know, Janelli is the person who uh, drew all the uh, sub badges. So that's all thanks to Janelli, guys. She, uh, she also does other artwork for uh, community members. Thank you so much for the two months in a row. <sighs> KBD 65 V2 or TDOS 68 for Tofu 65. Uh, I would personally, I, I think the Tofu 65 is nicer than the TDOS 65, 68. I personally recommend, yeah, the, the latest Tofu 65 is pretty nice. Uh, Abysmal, thank you so much for the three months in a row. Alright, have I soldered everything? I think I have. Yo, both well, haven't seen you in a while. Welcome, welcome. Do you know where I can buy some pre-built 60% keyboards? I recommend some on Amazon. That's about it. Ooh, left side looking pretty straight. Pretty straight. Let's see how this right side fair. Did you join the number one revision one raffle? Nope, I have one right here. Join raffle anyways. Oh shoot, this is kinda kinda straight actually. It's 
surprisingly. Shift needs a little bit of straightening. Right? Pretty straight. Impressive. I think we can test this now. Uh, what is your opinion on adding foam under the PCB in between the plate and piece? So I've only done that once for the pearl. I, I can't really say it made a difference because I've never built a pearl without that. If I had to guess so guess though, I would most likely assume it does make a difference. Adding that layer of a uh, foam. Let's see how well I soldered. Easy clap. Works. We are good to go, guys. First time, first try. What I miss? Uh, DJ Pagan, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Chalky, thank you so much for the two months in a row. That's all I missed. All right, are you ready to see what this final product looks like? Where's my switch puller? Not switch, my uh, keycap puller, there we go. Would you recommend going for a premium board as my first build? Mm, for me personally, Yes. When I when I go into hobbies, I'm someone who either sticks to the very cheap side of the spectrum or go balls deep. Cause you play around with any of the mid tier stuff, I feel like you're gonna end up just wanting to have wished that you saved up for the nicer tier. But one, one of the things about going straight to the high end is that you might not really appreciate what you are getting with high end stuff if you don't know what worse quality feels like. And game doesn't exist, go over it. What's the quality of GMMK TKL? Uh, GMMK TKL, I would say, is low tier. I would still consider GMMK uh, entry level. If a board comes hot swap, can I remove the hot swaps and solder switches like normal? Uh, if it comes with hole tights or like max mill, yes, you could remove those theoretically. You could technically do it. Can you? I don't think you could. Could you do that with kale hot swap too? Not with kale hot swap, right? Yeah, not kale. So if it comes with mill max or hole tights, yes, you can just remove those sockets and um, 
solder switches directly to it, but cable hot swaps are a separate thing, and you can't just remove that and put put uh, your switches in. Are cable switches decent? Yeah, cable switches are decent. Yep. Uh, I would highly recommend the KO box clicky switches. Those are pretty nice. Probably the only MX style clicky switches I would recommend. KO creams are also very nice linears. MX mount, sorry, MX mount. <laughs> what's your favorite, what's your personal favorite board that you own? Ooh, I like all of my boards. So recently, I have Marie kondo my collection. My collection is very small now. I think, I think everything that I own right now are the ones that I really like. Yeah, my collection is not big anymore. I used to own, I think I used to own like 40, 40 keyboards, customs and vintage including at its peak, at my peak. Uh, I don't even think I own 10 anymore. But that's, that's including vintage, like vintage keyboards. Vintage keyboards are a lot cheaper in most cases. Yes, when I when I started off in the hobby, I naively dreamt of beating Hata one day in his collection size, but I have I have long since given up on that dream. <laughs> do I still have the beam spring? I do. I have yet to do anything to it regarding restoration, though. No time at all. Vintage can be like five bucks if lucky. Yeah, vintage can range from five dollars to like five thousand. Who's Hata? Hata. Hata is one of the holy trinities of keyboard gods. The holy trinity is probably Hata, uh, Kairosran, and then probably like Wodan. They're the gods. Those three are like the holy trinity of god tier vintage keyboard legends. I can only dream of hanging out with those boys, but they are uh, they are pretty crazy. Am I missing something? No, I'm not. Yeah, Hata, Kairos, Wodan. They're they're like the god tier vintage gods. All three of them have ridiculously impressive collections and knowledge when it comes to vintage keyboards. Uh, actually, Hasu is pretty up there too. Um, Hasu is actually like a low-key sleeper community member that not a lot of people know about, but I don't think his collection is quite as large as the others. Hasu's big Topra? Yeah. I mean, Hasu's just a smart man in general. Yeah. I mean, I, I've, I've, uh, I've hung out with Hata quite a bit. Uh, Hata... Is one of the founders of Input Club, and they are local to the Bay Area, so I hang out with the Input Club folks quite a bit. Yeah, Hata has lots of cool stories to tell about Hasu because uh, they, they're pretty close. Yeah, I would like to meet Hasu one day. I've seen he's a very uh, intellectual man. Kiko, hello. Ooh, Zekian, hello. I didn't know you were in chat today. 
a shame that Turan, Turan and Linus Tech Tips didn't even mention Hasu in that video. Is oh yeah. How'd the build go? We had a uh, our first encounter of a warped stabilizer wire, but we got it fixed. This blue gray though, oh my gosh. Any any blue gray key cults avail. Gloves. I need that number one revision one. Yes, we did build this up yesterday. The VOD will be going up on my YouTube channel in an hour and a half. But it's very nice. Look at this board. Ooh. By the way, I put Hamon on my own navy, looks pretty nice. Oh, okay. Okay, that's something we can explore. 30 minutes for round two of key, key call raffle. Yes, the, the round two of the raffle will be happening in 30 minutes, guys. Prepare to a type. Is that number one revision one yours or customers? This one is mine to keep. Which of, the two, which of the two colorways for the number one do you like best? So for me, I like the navy better because I already owned, I've already owned my number one, the black pink for a while. So that's why personally for me, I like the navy better. I also don't own any dark navy boards, which is why I'm drawn to it. But I don't think the gold and black looks bad either. I think both look very great. But for me personally, I like the uh, the number one in the navy. Do you still have your original number one? Yes, I compared the two yesterday on stream. You can catch it in the VOD as well. Okay, secure. Dumpsterkski, thank you so much for the 20 bits. Your keyboards look very nice. I don't know what to say. They're like nice and high quality. Thank you. Well, most of the keyboards you see on my channel are not mine. <laughs> I am usually building it for other people. So it's all the other people in the world who have nice keyboards. I do build personal keyboards from time to time, but it's pretty rare now. Penguin, thank you so much for the two months in a row. Do you lube all of your switches? Uh, if you mean, do I personally lube all my builds? No, uh, I do hire people from time to time, but I still do lube my own switches if I can. What happened to your LZ CLS? I sold it. I ended up selling my LZ CLS to make way for future boards. All right, are you ready to see the Jane? Oh, I get this blue gray. What is this? There's a smudge there. You probably want to clean off Nastro. So there is a mismatch, but I personally like the bottom better than the top color. 
I, I, it would have been nicer if it was reversed because the top edge is what you see Yeah, it's definitely hard to match perfectly. Alright. So the keycaps we are using today is the CRP Arabic in the blue. Wait, is it Arabic? Hebrew? Crap. CRP Arabic, yes, I was right, it is Arabic. I saw another blue-gray. Yeah, I mean, I, I can understand. I mean, it's hard. And that this is Yuxi trying... Like, who else would you trust with a blue-gray? I don't know. <laughs> blue-gray is very hard. Okay. Not that bananas. So look at this CRP dice up. Oh baby. An anonymous cheer, thank you so much for the two bits. Don't need numro. Do we have any members in chat who speak or can write? in this language it's pretty nice i would like to see more hebrew arabic sub legends in the community oh wait i am using the wrong <laughs> uh i don't like scooped actually I have a legitimate reason for why I don't like scooped anymore. It, uh, it changes the sound signature. I noticed that with the OG dice upsets I've used, I don't like scooped anymore. I never did. The bar is now superior in my opinion. Scooped has always been bad. People like scooped though. So, enter is a little bit bananas, but not, not super bad. What about scooped plus bar? That's literally the worst thing. Why would you want both? Arabic looks pretty sexy, not gonna lie. Oh man, how do you say that name? Oh, Choo Choo Trains. <laughs> Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime stuff. Uh, I should put these back in the bag. Socha Ninkus BS Tilio Z2 Bosses Spring Swap. Whoa, Chalky, thank you so much for the 400 bits. Inks versus Telios. If smoothness is your absolute number one priority, I think Telios are still smoother. But if you are okay with not having this, not that inks aren't smooth. Inks are still pretty smooth, but Telios have the slight win in smoothness, I think. But for me personally, I would rather save the 30 cents and get inks. Uh, inks sound slightly better, and I'm, I'm not someone who really needs the smoothest switch out there. Uh, sound is just as important, if not more in some cases. So I would say save your 30 cents, get inks, unless you are looking for the absolute smoothest switch you can get.
I wish I had a CRP set now. I ended up selling mine because mine had pretty bad warpage. I kind of wish I kept it now. It's pretty nice. Not gonna lie. And some of them were exclusive to round one. Feels bad. Do win keyless usually have seven new space bars? Yes. How does it compare to EBP EPBT? I would say way better. I mean, just just this, the die sub alone, the, the die sub quality on this uh, is way better. Smoothness. So some people don't like the texture of CRP. For round one, it, it can feel a little bit chalky, but I hear it goes away after use. Like it's it smooths it smoothens out. Yeah, but I I would say. Even despite this textural thing, I would say I would still prefer CRP uh, just because of the one, the, the sub legend options and the, the quality of the sub legend. Yeah, I've heard it goes away, Zek, and I can't attest to it because I sold my round ones, but hopefully, my round twos are nice. Uh, a bunch of Japanese characters. Thank you so much for the five months in a row. Stay bullish, Duff. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. And helpingly, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I wish Arabic was in round two. Same. <laughs> oh, yikes. Of course, as I talk about the quality of Dai sub. Nastro. GG. <laughs> I don't know what happened to your insert. <laughs> Whoa, BT, hello! Thank you so much for the two months. Oh, BT, I know you talked about your collab, but the person you're collabing with told us who it is. So I know, I have crucial information now. Hello, BT, how are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, he's been, he's been uh, stopping by my stream since yesterday. Kind of cool. Where can you get CRP keycaps? On uh, you can get them from Drop. It is not a it's not a thing that is currently live. Hopefully, they will run more in the future. But they are being sold to Drop if they ever do. Yeah, but excited for it though, BT. Like I, I when you mentioned it on your stream, like. I had a huge inkling it was that person. I'm, I'm pretty sure you're, I don't know if your viewers are, can guess it too, but I won't leak to your viewers. Uh, would changing springs on Gator on inks ruin the smoothness or feeling? Nope. Assuming you're purchasing aftermarket springs, they should be of good quality. If you're taking like a cherry black stock spring and putting it into inks, then yes, it might feel worse, but yeah. Uh, Sivor, thank you so much for the four months in a row. The CRP use the same kind of plastic as GMK or PBT. CRP is a PBT. They are not ABS. Oh shoot, I put a page down here. Why did I sell my CRP set? Having big regrets now. Feels bad. I sold mine for decent prices too.
would you suggest ring swapping something like Helios or Gat Yellow Spring? Uh, it's all preference. I mean, I, I think most people find 62 to be an agreeable spring weight, but it's preference. Sphero, thank you so much for the three months. You are now a uh, Cherry MX Red sub badge. What's good? Uh, nothing much. Super hot here. I'm dying in my room with all my lights shining down on me, but it's okay. I'll just cool off after the stream. I'll just stream in the dark. You guys can't see this beautiful keyboard then though. Oh whoa, Gummy Ace, hello! We have a new Twitch staff in chat. We met two two's compliment not too long ago. Hello. First time here I'm guessing. Uh I've been using cherry browns mostly, thinking of trying Halo Clears. You think clears would be too stiff hard for me? If you're coming from browns, yes, clears are kinda heavy. Uh, they are kind of heavy. They are definitely heavier than browns. The tactility is also bigger. I might say try Halo Trues over Halo Clears personally, but both are both are great. Both are a jump in tactility from browns. What Halo True is heavier than Clear? Really? Did it change from the Halo and Hako line? I thought for Hakos, the Hako clear was... I lied, I take that back, Gummy Ace. You should stick with the clears then. I could have sworn the true was the lighter version. But my chat is saying otherwise. Yeah, uh, uh, Halo clears are, are a decent tactile on its own. I would recommend you lube it if you can. Oh, well, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Um, you can also try making Holy Pandas yourself. Um, Holy Pandas, you basically take the stem from the Halo Clear and you put it inside the switch housing of a Yawk Panda switch, which you can purchase from novelkeys.xyz, who I have linked in one of my panels down below. And then you get the Holy Panda switch that is being sold on drop. Um, and that feels significantly better in my opinion. I've been watching your videos for a while. First time catching you streaming live. Oh, welcome, welcome. Oh, shoot. Do we, which enter this chat like? No words? You guys like no words? I feel like we should go words because the shift has text. Where are the space bars? Was I not sent? The spacebar kit. What? No spacebar? Spacebars are the best part of CRP though. Mm. 
Where's a good place to get quality springs? TX keyboards. Nestro, I have no space bars. Did you not send me a space bar kit? No space bar. <laughs> well, guess I'll stick to my GMK space bar then. Ooh, that color difference though. done with today's build. Here we have blue gray TGR Jane V2 with the CRP Arabic blue keycap set. They are PBT keycaps. This is pretty big nut. The stainless steel you can see peeking through. Astro, I don't know if you guys remember, but a long time ago we unboxed a very big Chad cable. That was Nastro's. We finally get to use the Chad cable. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if I can plug this into my computer. This is how chat it is, guys. It extends past the cape keyboard. It's longer than my... Uh, it's about as long as my arm. Well, no, it's longer. <laughs> have to compensate somehow. Alright, so let's hope this cable works. I've never tested it. It's just been sitting in. S oh man, <laughs> I don't know if this. This is not a good cable. <laughs> the port's here, and then it coils the other way. <laughs> Will it even reach my? It does reach my hub. I don't know if it's working guys, nothing's happening on my computer. Uh, this cable might not be working, Nastro. <laughs> it's definitely plugged in. It's too chad for my computer, but this is not. Maybe the computer isn't powerful. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I do have a lot of devices plugged in. I don't know if this draws, if this requires more power, but this is not working currently. Where can you get a Poggers cables like this? So this was from Donut Cables, I think. Donut Cat, Donut Cables. Um, they, they ran a group by for this a long time ago. Donut Cat, okay, yeah. 
Um, it's basically mimicking the OG cables from the olden days. You might want to reach out to him. Or may it might just be that my uh, computer isn't providing enough power. So we'll stick with the HHKB cable for now. Yeah, this works. My computer recognizes this. All right. Can we get the words per minute bot started, Moz? So Jane still uses USB mini, yes. Well at least the at least the PCB that it comes with by default is USB mini. You can technically put in a USB C TKO PCB in here. I don't think that exists yet though. Once again for the screenshots for the YouTube VOD. Blue greeting right here. Yo. Indy Aus, thank you so much for the four months in a row. All right, screenshot for YouTube done. It is no longer accepting guesses, guys. So once again, these were built with Helios. Uh, Helios switches lubed with, oh, I have my. Uh, these were lubed with Helios switches that were spring swapped to the 63.5 gram springs lubed with Crytox 205 Grade 0 by Remsky <clears throat> on a brass plate. This is the TGR Jane V2. All right, let's see. We're going to get one typing test in before the key cult raffle. So three, two, one. What oh, we do we do? Sixteen so low. Oh, we have one winner. One winner. Uh, Mark Quizel, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. <sighs> All right, let's see what the mods sound like. Oh, key cult raffle. Okay, I'll give you guys a couple minutes. We will reconvene at seven o three. Cause the raffle goes live in a minute might as well play an ad right i'll, I'll play a three minute ad i'll see you guys then <laughs> still have 35 seconds what beast troll just raided us holy crap Ooh, beast troll thank you so much no i, I didn't end i didn't end there's the, there's a key cult raffle going on in one minute so i'm i'm letting people join that it's a three minute raffle Go to keycult.io. No, no, we just did the typing test. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving three minutes for people to uh, join the raffle. So we can chill. 
how do you join the raffle keycult.io go to it's not a you guys aren't receiving a free board guys this is a raffle to have the opportunity to pay for a keyboard so don't join the raffle thinking you're gonna get a free board this is a raffle to have the opportunity and honor to pay for a board it's not a free raffle but yes keycult.io there is a raffle there is a raffle going on for this keyboard here retails for five hundred fifteen dollars this keyboard this is the key code number one revision one raffle going on 500 only 515 dollars and you have to build it yourself it does not come built it is just for the case you have to buy switches and keycaps on top of it only 515 dollars You guys have two more minutes left to sign up for the raffle. Two more minutes. Two more minutes left. <sighs> Why is it so much? What's so special about that case? Uh, it's built entirely out of aluminum uh, very high quality and precise machining uh, quality control um, also exclusivity and low limit count low unit count sorry this is a welcome to the world of uh, custom keyboards <clears throat> what kind of caps on the raffle board it does not come with keycaps sorry to say is Ed actually joining <laughs> <coughs> keycaps are uh, the keycaps I have here this is a GMK solarized <clears throat> Ooh, 702 raffles about to close real soon guys oh 703 is the form closed is the raffle over I hope you guys had the chance to enter it's over Ooh. Well, since since Ed gave us a raid, we should uh we should go through the keyboard once again. Well, this is the keyboard we built today. Uh, this is the TGR Jane V2 in the blue gray color. Look at this color, guys! It's fantastic. So this part here you're seeing is all aluminum, and then there's a stainless steel accent piece here. Let me uh, it shows better on the other cam. So this is using, so this is the blue-gray colorway, and it's using some nice PBT keycaps uh, with Arabic sub-legends. It's even got color. So once again, there's a stainless steel accent weight here. The name of this keyboard is called the Jane. And the bottom has a mixture of brass and aluminum. Look at this color, guys. This color is fantastic. How much does this keyboard go for in the aftermarket? I think it peaked at 2.5, 3.5, 2.5. Gotta head out now. Thanks for stopping, Sasaru. Thank you, thank you. Oh, and I don't know if I thanked you again, Ed. Uh, thank you so much for the raid. <laughs> I hope your stream went well. Didn't you say you had a competition today or something? Did you win? Or tournament? Did you win? I hope you won. 
hope you won. Damn, you won 5-0. Easy clap. Um, the raffle people were talking about was for this board. This is the Key Cult number one, revision one. So this is also a dark, this is a dark navy. It might show up as black, but it's a dark navy and silver themed keyboard. Look at this color. So it's got a nice accent piece that goes all the way around. Look at how flush that USB port is right there, USB-C. It's got the key cult logo engraved right there. And then it's got a nice bottom bottom design as well. So this yeah, this keyboard was the one that people were entering the raffle to purchase. And these keycaps are GMK solarized. Five hundred is what makes the Jane so expensive? Uh, it's a mixture of quality and hype. Mostly hype. And exclusivity as well. Yeah, let's see what this keyboard... Oh, I guess we should weigh it. We haven't weighed this keyboard, huh? We didn't get to weigh the Jane today. To give people an idea. what a custom keyboard is like. So this keyboard, fully built, weighs almost seven pounds, six pounds, 15.7 ounces, or 3,170 grams. Yeah, these, these keyboards are made fully out of aluminum, brass, stainless steel, you name it. It's an absolute unit. Uh, are you doing a feel build? I do have feel builds lined up. Yes, I do. All right, so let's hear what this keyboard sounds like. So today's board was built with silent switches. Um, yeah, here we go. This is a reference sound. This is the sound of chapstick being taken out. Let's see how loud this board is. Oh, we do, we do. This is so bad. I'm too nervous with all of Beast Troll's viewers. <laughs> too many people watching. One twenty. Excel made here. What's up? That that was the. Uh, this is the TGR Jane. And then one thing you get with me, all these stabilizers, they sound nice. There's no rattle. And then we can take a look at what the key cult sounds like. So this is built with Cherry MX Blacks, blue, what the, the bot started? All right, now I got to sleep, have a good night. Wait, it's so early, right? Why are you sleeping so early? <laughs> what? <laughs> but have a good night, right? 
Oh, Croy, hello, welcome back. <laughs> Wait, did you suck? Oh, Croy, thank you so much for the 10 months. Sorry, I have a, I had a bunch of follows. It's also very hot in my room. All right, let's see what this keyboard sounds like. So these are using lubed cherry blacks, which I'm sure Ed's viewers are familiar with. Oh, we do, we do. score okay uh, what switches these are using cherry MX blacks that were lubed <laughs> uh, Nick's turtle thank you so much for the twitch prime sub well that was it yeah lube cherry MX blacks are really nice Atomic Monkey, good night. Have a good one, Atomic Monkey. <sighs> any any uh, final questions, comments, concerns? Ed unfortunately caught me at the end. <laughs> but these are the two keyboards on my desk. I will be streaming tomorrow, 3.30 p.m. Pacific time. You can also follow me on all my other socials if you care. Um, how do you feel about GAT ink switches? I love GAT inks. Can you give more on the keycaps, the Arabic ones? So these are CRP Arabic switches. They were sold on Drop, formerly known as Mass Drop. You can get them there. Yes. When will the trackball come back? I probably won't use it at home. Uh, editing with a mouse is just so much easier for me. So yeah. Are silent inks just as good? I actually haven't tried silent inks yet, but I did order some, so excited to try them out. All right, who can we raid? Ooh, should we raid Joey? Uh, yeah, I built my QXP a long time ago. We can also raid Star Smitten. Mm, we've never raided Star Smitten. Let's go raid Star Smitten. Yeah, let's go raid Celine. She is playing League right now, I think. Uh, what should we say to her? I think we've never raided her. We should just say, show us your keyboard. Let's just spam, show us your keyboard. Show us your keyboard. Show us your keyboard. Yeah, that's what we'll spam to her. Ask her if she's single for me. Oh, yikes. <laughs> yikes. <laughs> um, oh, wait, Beast Toy, you're going to TwitchCon. Yes, I hope to see you there, Ed, at TwitchCon. I'm going to TwitchCon too. Oh, so hot, I'm dying in my room. Uh, yeah, tomorrow we are going to build a pretty funky keyboard tomorrow. So if you guys want to stop by tomorrow, see you guys all there. Um, video dropping on Monday as per usual. Yeah. 
All right, thank you everyone for Anime Expo. I don't think I'm going to Anime Expo. I'm not that big of a weeb. Yeah, but thank you everyone for stopping by today. I will see you guys all tomorrow. Show us your keyboard to Celine. So until then, see ya nerds.